In this video, I'm going to be creating this look using a brand new product to me. So let's get going. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amy, and if you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I, I upload three beauty videos a week, every Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. UK, UK time. And if that's something you enjoy, then don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that like button if you like testing videos. I'm going to make this intro very, very short because this video is going to be a bit long. I do apologise. Um, but I did create this look. Um, it's a very dramatic look for me. Um, so, yeah, let's see how I created this look. Right. I'm fresh faced. And the first thing I'm going to try is the Four Fray Beauty Matcha Avocado Face Milk. Um, I got this from a um, declutter. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm going to try it today. My hair is just doing its own thing today. Doing its own thing. I'm going to get a couple of drops, drop it on my hand. I've not tried any of these before. I just wanted to give it a go. So let's... Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, wow. Definitely going to give our hydration to the skin. Oh, and full fray, if anyone doesn't know, hang on a little bit more, is um, Colourpop's um, sister brand that do like skincare and stuff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but look at that glow. Oh. It gives a really nice glow to the skin. Love that. My forehead is so glowy. <laughs> Right, that's that. And the first thing is foundation. I am going to be trying, oh no, primer, sorry. Start again. <laughs> I'm going to be using this primer here. This is what I got in my glossy box. This is the Figs and Rouge Satin Satin Soft Blurring Primer and Finishing. I'm going to be trying this. see how I get on so let's do one squeeze oh it's pink ooh, and very runny so that's just ooh, very liquidy oh that's very hydrating <laughs> very hydrating my skin is going to feel hydrated after this I'm sure I stop my hair right up it just literally glides on the skin like butter oh wow that's amazing I'll rub it down my neck because I've put too much on oh look at that my skin is looking very glowy and I'd say my pores are looking um, blurred I don't know what do you guys think but nice anyway definitely very hydrating I don't know if it's supposed to be hydrating going to give our satiny look which it does to be honest it's also supposed to do blows and banishes banishes shine mm. don't know if that's because we used that this beforehand but it hasn't really gone like the shine hasn't really gone away but it's definitely up with the highlighted like where the highlighted bits are um yeah, it doesn't, it's meant to be a mattifying um, primer, but I'd, to be honest, I'd say it has mattified the shine down from the milk, but you can, see, you can still see on the sun bits, but my skin does feel soft and satin, so yeah, <laughs> I don't think I gave it a fair chance with this, but for me, my skin is looking healthy, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to be trying next the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear obviously this is not new but this is new to me i'm going to be using the complexion sponge by s s eco i don't obviously i'm not going to wet i don't wet my sponges so i'm not going to wet it because i don't want it to be any different to how i'd normally use it and this is in the shade rose ivory bit of that on oh 
akkor már sejtmást jönött. Actually, not that shape match. It's. I don't think it has any co what coverage is it supposed to have? Doesn't say, but it hasn't got like. It's not full coverage. I'd say it's got like a light to medium. <laughs> I don't know if that's. The, look, it looks like the sponge is just taking it all up. You know, look, it's just literally soaking straight into a sponge. But it is going on flawlessly, which is what the primer says it will do. But yeah, it's literally just soaking it all up. So maybe if I, I know it's not very really healthy, if I just do that and then do that. Uh, sort of does the same thing really. I don't know if it's just because the sponge needs to be wet first, but it does say you don't have, you don't have to wet it. But mm, I don't know. But the foundation's looking really nice though. <laughs> there is quite some dark, dark bits where um, I would normally, where I've got breakouts. Yeah, I just blend that right in. I might add a bit more, see if I can build it up on my cheeks, but that's looking really nice and natural and that's applied to my nose really well I find foundations really do cling on to my nose and uh, whenever I add any layers it seems to um, add but no it seems to be applying really well so that's a plus let's add a bit more over here see if we can get rid of this darkness and it's right to the sponge this time. What was with the mirror? It's dried until like a matte finish. Don't know if that's what it's supposed to. It seems like it's added a bit more. Now I'm turned into a medium. That's so, like drop the sponge. Right, back again. So let's say I added extra to this side and you can see that it is buildable. You know, you can build it up to be um medium if you want to. Obviously I am gonna eat it out onto the other side. Um I don't like adding too much because I end up looking very cakey and uh, I don't like to put too much on my nose but that's given a really nice finish though quite like that very natural very medium coverage and I bet if you built it up probably even further you probably could have the full coverage. But yeah, it looks it looks really nice. It's a plus for me. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go do my concealer. I'm gonna use the um hydrate concealer from Revolution. Um and then I'm we're gonna come back and do my eyes first. So yeah, let's that's my face powdered and I'm now very matte. <laughs> we're going to be going in with the true friends. Collection. I did do it. I did do individual reviews on every single one of these four. Um, I will link them in the cards as well in the iCards. So don't forget to check them out. I will be ranking them in this video as well of which ones I love and would use all the time. So the ones I wasn't too keen on and why. Um, so 
put them in the order that I would. So, I'm going to quickly rank them now. We're going to use some of some bit, some shades from these palettes on my eyes today. I do have um, some colourful liners that I'll get into as well. So we've got the first one which I loved this palette. This was La Belle of the Ball. This is what the palette looks like. This shade here didn't really um, like perform as well as that to be honest like on um, my eyes. But overall, I love the palette. This was gorgeous. This was a gorgeous um, glitter. And the shimmer in this shade didn't really show up. You could just swipe it away and just make it into a regular matte. So this was my favourite one. I love purples anyway. And this was really fun to play with. And I really, really enjoyed this one. Second was this one, which surprises me because I'm not a pink person. Was this shade. Everything in this palette was awesome. I liked every single shade. You have two. We have a matte pink and then a yellow shimmer you have another glitter and then a again this is like a deep ready pink with a shimmer in it but you couldn't really again you can dust the glitter off it's you can either have it or you can't you know either or but yeah this is like my number two number three was nook this one was a really nice one this is my most recent one i love this one i love all of them if i had to rank them in this order it would be this is a stunning shade the others were okay shades, but this one was this one stood out for me. This one here was really, really nice. And unfortunately, last but not least, is the Water Hoot. This palette performed amazingly. Like this is a this performed really well. It, it blended amazingly. It's a really nice palette. But me personally, I don't use neutral shades, so this is probably going to be a palette that I probably won't reach for that often. But if you're a neutral person, you will love this. The shades blend like a dream. And um, the formula of them is really nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is unfortunately my last one. Like I said, it's not because of the formula or the shades or anything. It's more for the fact that I just don't wear neutral shades. I'm more of a colour person as well. The colours are in order. <laughs> but yeah. Overall, my review for these palettes are that they perform really well. They all blend nicely. Um, there's a couple of shades, like with the shimmers, that don't always... That aren't showing up as pigmented as they do on the swatches. But they all perform really well. The glitters are stunning. The matte shades are really nice. So I would, if this goes back into stock, I would get these. They are £12 each, which is very, for me, a bit steep for a little palette with four pans. But definitely worth getting the bundle. Definitely worth it. So we're going to go into them today. And I can't decide whether I'm going to save the Colourpop Best Friend Liners, which I might use in this video, and save the NYX one. But I've got a blue, a red and a purple. So we see how this look goes to what we can do with the liner. So let's get into the eye look. First, I am going to go into this palette for this shade here, which is Celestial. This one is a brilliant crease shade. Um, I'm going to use my Spectrum B7, which I have to clean after. But the one thing as well about these palettes is that they're very powdery. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to go straight in to just buff into the crease. I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to go in. So I'm going to go with my LA Splash. There we go. That's the colour that I wanted. The bomb was just taken off the powder from the foundation. Just over the top of all of this, just to get a nice crease shade. 
I also believe it's all going to be difficult to hit pan on these because I've only used this like twice and it's creating a little dip already. I will be doing a pan those eyeshadows. I've decided instead of doing the tw I'm still going to do the 21 pans, but I'm not going to do it as a project. I'm going to do it as a goal for the end of the year. And um yeah, I will also explain that in another, in my in the 21 21 in the pan those shadows, but I really like the idea of it. I want to trial it for ready for next year. So, yeah, that's a really nice crease shade color. I'm going to go in with Hmm. I really want to use that blue. That blue was really nice, as well as all the shimmers were really nice. Like that pink one was really nice, and that purple one as well was really nice. Hmm. Let's put them all out in front of me. Let's. See. Hmm. I have a red. I have red and purple, so maybe I could do a ready purpley look with blue maybe over the top so using the morphe this morphe brush from the sweet oasis palette urban collection i'm going to go in with island's tune with that pink up here and i'm gonna pop that just on the inner part of my crease You have a very pastel look today. This is quite a bright yellow. You can't pretend that you can actually see that it's bright, but close up you can really see the colour. But once layered, it's really, really nice. There we go. And then I'm going to go in with a different brush, the same from the same Morphe collection, but a bit of a flatter one. I'm going to go in with Taylor's Ticket, which is this purple shimmer. And I'm going to put it just in the crease and then above, just blending that like that. But I will deepen it with the darker shade. This is more of a denser brush, which I'm hoping will um, knock out most of the glitter. Can you see that's starting to build? It's a very light purple, give it that. Like that. And then I'm going to go in with another brush. Do a lot of swapping and changing. Do this one. This is a Spectrum AO6. Go into that um, darker shade and just pop that in the crease just to really define it. Again, at the end, I will be putting um, a picture of this look. There we go. A bit more of a purpley look. Oh, I just put a load of kick up on my fine Swiss of hat brush. There we go. So we've got a nice pink and purple moment going. Let's put some more purple back on nothing more pink on my face. more pink and then turn that in there and then I'm going to go in I think all over the lid with this shade here my finger it's called CEO it's really nice 
glitter. like that to have like a really nice look <laughs> dropped everything i'm always dropping things so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with this purple liner first i'm gonna do like a purple wing Like that. I'm just going to go across the top as well because I fancy doing a graphic liner. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did. So, <laughs> to be fair, the liner went on really, really well. And yeah, <laughs> it looks really nice. And I'm going to go in with the red. And I'm just going to do lines over the top. Um, I'm going to do lines with it, I think. Right, I'm then going to go in with blue. 
and then I'm going to go off camera do the other eye and I'm probably going to add a couple more in this side to make up a little spider because I think that's the vibe I'm going for now <laughs> and then yeah so let's There we go, that looks pretty cool, I quite like that, I don't even know why, how I even got to this, but yeah, so I'm going to do the other eye, come back and we'll do the rest of my face. Right, I've just remembered that I've got mascara to test out, so <laughs> yeah, this is it so far, they're not even obviously, but yeah, but to be fair, those eyes work quite well and they're very pigmented as well, so definitely a one-up. I think the um, colourful ones are new as well, they're new best, they're BFF ones. Now this is Butanique Beauty. This is a nourishing mascara. It's supposed to be volumizing and nourishing, which is interesting to me. And the wand is very much like that. So let's have a go. I don't know how mascaras can be nourishing. next one i love how this is bent because it really does help to get into those lashes go okay you're not overly coated but yeah too fair with you nourishing i don't know um i'll have to keep testing this out to see if it is nourishing but the length on them though is great is, is amazing <laughs> can't get over how long my lashes are <laughs> so yeah, I'd say this is a good this is a good find, but again with the nourishing, I don't know to be honest with you. So right, I'm going to attempt lashes because last if you saw my last video, didn't go well. But I'm going to try these ones. These are the synthetic primer lash. These are from Black. These yeah, I think they're called. I think that's the brand primer lash. We're going to try putting these on. Then we're back. I'm sorry this is a long video. <laughs> I'm trying to make them shorter, but this video is not going to be a short one. <laughs> Let's put the lashes on. Right, lashes on. I love how these look. They are really fluffy on the outside, but really thin on the inside. I love these type of lashes. Plus, it's not overly dramatic for the actual look. Um, they went on probably the best so far. That I it literally didn't take that long to put these on, <laughs> which I'm very glad about. <laughs> Right, I'm going to use my fix, um, colour fix to do my bronzer and then we're going to go in with some more products for blush, let's find my blush brush, use that. Alright, for my blush I'm going to go in with the Colourpop Flower Tender, this was also in my haul as well. And this is what it looks like. It's a very like pinky, I don't know if it's shimmery, so we'll see how it looks. But um, yeah, it's a very pink thing. It's not too bad actually. I think I've just overdone it with the contour that it doesn't look overly bad. The shimmer's not there really. There we go. 
you're putting blush up here and it seems to really bring everything together um my review on this really pretty you can't really tell there's actually shimmer in it to be honest so if you don't like shimmer you'll probably be all right with with it my lashes are playing up yeah that's actually really good so far the colourpop collection is you know definitely worth getting in my opinion because all the products have worked really well and I'm going to use the next one of this, which is the which is balloon pop. I say balloon, but that's something else. Balloon pop, which is this super shock shadow. Super soft and creamy. Definitely a highlighter, isn't it? Nice super shock shadow. Yeah, it's really nice. Now I'm going to pop this on my nose, and of course here for highlight. Look at that, and then I'm also going to get a brush to really blend that down. Oh, that was pink eyeshadow on that, wasn't there? I'll use this to really blend that out. So I'm going to go back in with this, and I'm going to just... Yeah, you can't really use a brush with this, it's not really a brush thing, I think. Do it as a highlight, look at here. That's really pretty, I might have to use this one again in a more of a... It's really pretty though. I do really like that. So it's pigmented, it works really well, really creamy. Obviously we'll have to use it as a um, shadow another time, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to use this Bellionaire um, little light glitter pot. And I'm going to pop a little bit of glitter. Mm. I don't know where I'm going to put the glitter, to be honest. I think I'm just going to pop a little bit. I don't really need glitter, do I? But what about here? That does, look, that does look good though. I do like these little pots. I don't, I'm not only a big fan of glitter, but this type of consistency where it's like a gel. Let me drop it on the floor again. <laughs> oh, where's this couple of type of gel? Works well. So next, I've done a blood. I'm going to use highlighter, and it's going to be moment the milk and cookies from Steph Tom's love this highlighter this highlighter has literally been everything i've ever been wearing so I like i like using milk and then popping milk here to really highlight and then look at that more and then this is just an insanely pigmented highlighter it's amazing <laughs> and I'm gonna highlight this bit here <laughs> that's uh, I like um try and highlight it out 
There we go. Well, I'm not sticking together, but hey ho. But yeah, <laughs> look insane. But well, I keep rolling with it. Keep rolling with it. <laughs> Next, last but not least, is lips, isn't it? And we're going to be using this um, cheek lip to cheek balm from Nude Sticks. I'm gonna. This is a very red um, lip balm, <laughs> but I think it goes quite well actually with this look. So yeah, I'm gonna take my hairband out, brush my hair, make it look less of a mess. Oh, my hair needs a good clean. But yeah, this is the final look. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it went quite well. All the products performed really, really well. I liked all the products. Um, the only thing that I found a bit iffy was the mascara, because I don't know anything about the nourishing side of it. But the liners worked really well. Everything just blended together well. But yeah, if you want another test of new, new um, products video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Enjoy.